Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is the second video that we're uploading today and it's because we're doing a virtual tour for a couple of our clients and due to time difference, we have to upload these videos to our YouTube channel so that they can later watch them while shopping remotely. If this is something that you're interested in, we're happy to offer that service for any of the houses that you may be looking at and would like to see a video tour. So feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is in the description below this video. So we're now in beautiful Fire Rock subdivision in Hurricane, Utah. It's spelled hurricane, but people pronounce it hurricane. There's a ton of videos on the subject. We're not gonna cover it here. Anyway, uh, this house is kind of unique. It's located on the corner. And I would like to first uh, thank the listing agent, Chris Spinks with Diamond Development for giving us an opportunity to show this property to our clients and the rest of our YouTube viewers today. So let me tell you a little bit about this home. It is unique because it is located on a corner lot and the front of the lot is considerably higher above the street that this home is located on. Um, it is a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 2,600 square foot home that has a tandem three car garage with, um, with a two car entry. And it sits on a 0.26 acre lot. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the unique part of this home. We're currently in the driveway and by the side entrance and it kind of, it could be used as a front entrance. It's kind of a cool design touch. It has the side porch. Uh, it's finished with modern lighter stucco with dark roof on all the dark lines uh, with black windows. This home has a really nice modern curb appeal. So there's plenty of room for parking in this extra long driveway as well as side parking. You could easily fit uh, an RV or a trailer or whatever you want to park here. It is, it is huge. So there's some decent side parking for whatever you wish to park here. And the front of the property, so it actually feels like, it's hard to tell, is this front, is this side? Uh, I feel like you would probably use that for entry more often than the actual official front door. But let's take a look out to the front. So here as we walk on the side yard, we are probably, would you say 10 feet? Like high, 10 feet yeah, high? like 10 feet above the street. Yeah, at least. So it gives you some extra privacy. And as we come up to the front corner of the property, this elevation here is probably more like 20. So we're a little higher here, but that preserves these beautiful views from the front of the property. And the master bedroom actually also faces this way. So these are the views that you get to take in from here. We're decently far enough away from uh, Main Street, which, or SR9. Uh, so the, the noise from the road is not super audible, but you can definitely tell. Uh, and right now we're filming this video at 424. So we're rush hour, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, so there's a decent amount of traffic. But let's take a look at the front of this property. This side of the home is, um, finished with this batten board style siding. There's some nice black trim around the windows, giving it a really nice modern touch. Uh, the front entry is this beautiful black double door with a really nice light fixture up above. And there's this really cool uh, window shade that kind of completes the, the modern touches of uh, contrasty finishes on the exterior of this home. But let's head inside and take a look at this home. right after we take in these views. <laughs> so this home has a combination of, what was it, 10? 10, 10 foot ceilings and eight foot doors. Mm -hmm. And as we enter through the main entry, uh, it opens up to nice open floor plan. And this uh, property was being used as a model by this developer, so it's currently staged, so you could get a better idea of what things look like with some of the furnishings in this space. So the front entry is nice and wide. And as you walk in to the right of the front door is a bedroom or office, could be used as an office. It has double sliding barn doors with matte glass in the middle. And I think that looks awesome. Uh, nice contrasty black hardware throughout the window or windows and doors. 
Uh, this room does have a closet, so it can be used as a bedroom if you choose to use it as a bedroom. It has a nice large front window that opens up to some of the views. And I think these views would be preserved uh, because the lots across the street are considerably lower. So there's a, from the home to the street is a 20 foot drop and there's probably another 20 to 30 foot drop from the street to uh, that field that we see there. Really nice uh, paint color in this home. It looks like it could be some version of gray. I think it looks like agreeable gray. Mm -hmm. um, nice open space here in the flooring. So there's a combination of carpet and gray tile flooring with wood grain look. These this is ceilings are pretty high too. Yeah, really nice vaulted ceilings with uh, six can lights and a ceiling fan with a light fixture as well. So this is the door that we saw from the garage entry. This could alternatively be <clears throat> a front door because I would imagine that anybody that comes in, the, the approach to the front door is actually pretty steep. So I doubt that many people would use the official front door. So this could become your front door. Let's take a look at this kitchen. So um, there's granite throughout the kitchen. Nice center island, it's not overwhelmingly large. Uh, the wood finish looks like ash gray for the center island and white shaker cabinets for um, the rest of this kitchen. The cabinets are soft close. It is a gas uh, Frigidaire stove with a Frigidaire wall oven and a microwave. Has a nice oven range and some tasteful backsplash throughout. This pantry has a view. Check it out. It's a good sized pantry with plenty of natural light and there's a cool spotlight uh, light fixture up above that can light up all of your groceries or whatever you choose to keep there. There's an opening for a standard refrigerator here. And if we turn around, we have a double sink with plenty of counter space around it and the dishwasher is on this side of the kitchen. And these cabinets are also white cabinets uh, with shaker finish. So if we go in this direction from the kitchen, we have the garage door to the left and straight ahead, we have a powder bath with a really cool looking vanity and some nice black hardware and some nice uh, farmhouse looking light fixtures. Eight foot doors and just outside of this um, powder room, we have uh, a full size coat closet. And as we head down this hallway, we have a laundry room and this is a really cool touch. So you have two ways of entering your master suite. You could enter it through the laundry room or you could enter it directly, but follow me into the laundry room. So we'll check that out first. There's a really cool sink vanity off to the side, nice wide opening for a washer and a dryer and a dryer can be either electric or um, gas. There's a floor drain for safety and Plenty of space across the way. And again, a cool looking modern light fixture and a solar tube that provides some extra light into this room. So the laundry room is directly connected to the master closet. Master closet is a pretty good size if you just wanna follow me in here. There's some built-ins and plenty of space for stuff in that master closet. And the master closet takes us into the master bath where we have a separate water closet and two vanities that are separated by the door that takes us back into the master. Nice round mirrors with uh, some farmhouse looking light fixtures and the finishes here are black and chrome, uh, which normally I don't think that would be a big fan, but they do work in this house, I feel like, because we have a four-legged uh, standalone tub with more chrome finishes throughout and those cool retro looking legs and this composition is complete with a chrome light fixture up above. 
and we have a nice walk-in shower with tile almost all the way up to the ceiling in a herringbone pattern. Some pretty cool tile around the floor drain with smaller uh, tiles in order to be able to place that uh, floor drain almost in the center. This room has some views out to the front as well. And one thing that I'd like you to note is on the inside of the house, there's absolutely no exterior noise notable at all. Because I know sometimes when you see a highway in the distance, a lot of our uh, clients ask, you know, how, how loud is it? So master bedroom has a premium carpet. It feels extra padded. Uh, it is a king size bed that takes up a small portion of this room because it is a, it is a pretty spacious room. Uh, there are four can lights and a, um, a fan fixture with a light fixture in the middle of it. This room also has the views to the front and that was the window that I was showing you in the exterior with that black awning over it. Let's go check out the rest of the bedrooms. What do you think so far, Michonne? I love it and I love how they staged it. It really gives you a good good idea of what you can fit in this home and gives you a nice feel for the property mm -hmm. um, so we've just explored the right wing of that home and now we're going to the rooms that are to the left of the front entry well depends on which entry you call the front entry so as we enter this hallway there is a linen closet about the same size as the one by the garage mm -hmm. then to the right of the linen closet we have a guest bathroom it is a full bath that has a dual vanity and the style of the vanity is a little bit different here. It's a little more uh, unique than the other room, has dual mirrors, pretty cool modern looking light fixture, a bathtub with tile almost all the way up to ceiling. Oh, and there's a little more of storage a little, back here. <clears throat> a little more storage. Was that a built-in cabinet or was it just oh, a stage just a, cabinet? Just a standalone, yeah. So this is just a standalone staging cabinet to kind of give you an idea for the space. As we go down this hallway, we have a second linen closet that could be used by this bedroom or just, you know, great, great use of space. Um, and beautiful eight foot doors throughout make these rooms and entryways feel a lot larger. So this is a smaller bedroom that faces the driveway. So now we're to this side of the property and uh, a nice large window and uh, a walk-in closet right here as well. So the only space that we are yet to explore in this home is the garage. What? There's one more bedroom at the end. Of is the there home. one more bedroom? I'm yep. just excited about the garage. So <laughs> <laughs> this is the second bedroom uh, that's or facing. Third, third bedroom. Third well, bedroom. Technically the fourth bedroom, but fourth bedroom. So we saw the master. Mm -hmm. and well, we, saw... we started with the office when you first walk in. Master bedroom, that, so this is the fourth bedroom. This is the fourth bed. And sorry, I just saw I had a call coming in. Is this still recording? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, so this bedroom is the same in size as the one that we just saw. Also has a walk-in closet. It's a slightly smaller closet, but it's still a pretty good size. Can we go see the garage now? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go check out the garage. So we have to go across the living room and it is to the left through this hallway. This home has a unique uh, garage setup. So there's a two bay garage right here. So this is where the second bay ends. And this is a third bay that does not have its own um, entry. So this third bay could be utilized perfectly for motorcycles, side-by-sides, other toys that you could park this way so you don't have to get crafty with parallel parking something here. Or perhaps, if you really wanted to, it would be a, a relatively easy spot to parallel park something into. Uh, the two-car bay has some extra space to the right, 
and there are three little windows uh, up above for light. There's plenty of um, ceiling light fixtures to bring plenty of light into this garage. There is a closet with tiled floors for the water heater, which is kind of a nice touch. It's tucked away nicely and it's not taking up any of the space inside the garage bay. And the floor drain, um, or sorry, the, the tile floor is a, a nice touch because you don't have to worry about damaging anything in the event of a leak. It'll just come out of the garage floor. So there is a man door that takes us from the garage out into the side yard. So this home doesn't have uh, a ton of backyard space, but it has a couple of hangout areas that I guess you could use in place of like a, a backyard patio. So this might not be an ideal property for somebody with a pet, but take a look at these views and you certainly cannot beat this price point for what you get with this property. If you have any questions about this property or any other properties, please let us know. Drop us a comment below and let us know what you think about having a front entry on a steep hill. Would you live here? Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.